Hi, my name is Sanji and I have no friends, so I'm going to talk to you guys today. And specifically, what I want to talk about, because I love knitting, is my whips. I have them all here right now. Not very clean at all. Just want to just say that. Pretty sure I have to disclose that information before um, we get started. I'm just kidding. I'm in an extremely cozy sweater today. It's been raining all week and I think that's the perfect weather for knitting. Pretty sure everyone can agree on that in the knitting community. Anyways, off topic. I have four whips, I think. I just completed two, which is a huge accomplishment for me because I'm usually all whips, no FOs. Six months ago, actually, I found out, thanks to the Reddit community, that I've been twisting my stitches my whole knitting career, which my grandma taught me how to knit when I was like eight, and I picked it up again in quarantine. I think that's when I started twisting them. Untwisting my stitches has been a complete game changer for me in the knitting world. I can't believe that untwisting stitches is people's default. You guys are so lucky. I'm just kidding. I'm so much happier with my knitting now that I've untwisted my stitches. I can see a complete change in the stretchiness of the fabric and everything doesn't look so tight. It looks more relaxed and it's just crazy. I'm so glad I figured it out before I started dipping my toes into the world of color work and socks which I do want to talk about today, so I guess I should just get into it. I just got the Charming Colorwork Sock book, and I've already bookmarked some of the designs in this book for my family. I love this book so much. This is such a good creation. The ones that I'm working on right now, which I want to show you, one of my whips, are the Coffee Break Socks by Stone Knits. So here is one of the socks. And I actually have a story with this. Here's my second sock. I'm trying to do two at a time, but not magic loop. So I have two nine inch circulars and I'm just trying to work them section by section at the same time. And I have a story with this. So at the beginning of January, I had a goal and I still have the goal to have 2024 as my year of socks. So what that means is, um, knitting one pair of socks per month in the year of 2024 so by december or the start of 2025 you'd hopefully have 12 pairs of socks so i started off strong around midweek january i started the coffee break socks and it was my first time ever doing color work my second time ever doing socks and the color work was doing well i got into the heel and long story short during a road trip, it fell out of the car, dragged for a mile, and there was so much fluff on it because of the road got so dirty and that would definitely not block out. But then I was just like, you know what, I'm just gonna start again. It's okay. There were some things I didn't like in the other sock about it. So this was a blessing in disguise maybe. So yeah, now I'm just starting again. I only had one sock on my needles before the car thing happened, but I was like, you know what, let's just try two. And I recently got the Shiagu um, Shorties Interchangeable Needle Set. I love these so much for sock knitting because my school, it's an online school and they really want you to be creative. They give you funds throughout the year to just spend on your hobbies, baking classes, watercolor classes and art classes. I'm taking a watercolor class, it's so fun. So yeah, I really love my school and I'm so grateful that I can just like buy knitting supplies with it, with my funds. Yeah, these are the shorties. I have my 2.25 ones on this sock, I think. Yeah, this sock right now. It's so easy and they're so cute. I love them so much. Anyways, yeah, I don't know if I should call it two whips or one, but I'm just gonna call it two. And then for the yarn I'm using for these socks, it's the Knit Picks Stroll Yarn. I know that for the motif, I'm doing Burnt Umber Heather Knit Pick Stroll. And then this is Dove. And I don't remember the name of this, but I'll link the yarn in my description. I really love the Stroll Yarn. It's super soft. 
And by the way, I already blocked this one, so it's different looking than this one. I just wanted to see how it would look. My next two whips are, are at the beginning stages of their life. First, we have the Sophie shawl. Sorry, it's all tangled. I haven't worked on this in like five months or something, but um, I've made mistakes a little with the I-cord edge because the repetition is every sixth throw and it's honestly really hard for me to count. And if I just lose track, it's over for me. I just have to guess. But I'm hoping that will block out. I'm pretty sure some people have said that there are mistakes in the Sophie shawl, in the Sophie shawl has. So I'm excited about this very much because I think it's such a beautiful scarf or shawl and I really love it. I got the Onling kit with my school. Here I have the yarn. The color is um, like the army green color and this is number one by Onling. I think I'm saying that wrong because I think it's um, a Danish brand or a Dutch brand. It's just a Scandinavian brand, that's all I'm gonna say. But yeah, this is the yarn. I love it, it's so soft. It's wool and angora. It was pretty expensive, the kit for Force Games, but it's worth it, I love it. My next and last whip is the Clematis sweater by Emma's Knits. I really love this pattern so much and I casted this on in September. And then school took over and I haven't knitted it since. And as you can see, I did not get that far before I put it on hibernation. I really want to continue with this because I think the finished object would get so much wear and it looks like a really fun project to complete. And you know when you get like the exact same yarns that the pattern recommends, like you have to finish it. There's no exception. So I got the Drops Kid Silk Mohair and then the Summer and Cashmere Organic Cotton, I think. 9% Organic Cotton, 10% Cashmere. Um, BC Garn, that's Danish, right? Summer and Cashmere. Its color is nature, like nature. And then the Drops Kid Silk in off-white but yeah those are all my wits so far i'm trying not to cast anything else on and i really want 2024 to be my year of knitting really want to have a lot of finished whips to show you guys and i really hope you guys come along with me because i am going to be posting podcasts and stuff and it would be really fun if you guys were there i want to talk a little bit about um what i want to make so starting with the socks, I just have three socks or four, I think right now that I want to make for my upcoming months of socks. These are the bookmarked ones. And I, I don't have these for specific months. It's just, I want to make these for one of the months. I really want to make the counting sheep pattern by Stone Knits in her Charming Colorwork Socks book. I want to make these for me. They are just so cute. I saw a variation of this pattern on Instagram and I just fell in love with it. I bookmarked it and I wanted to do the exact color scheme. I just love her variation so much. Next pattern, the cherry on top by Stone Knits. I want to make these for my sister. I already got the yarn. It's on the way. They're so cute. They remind me of Sundays. I have a lot of other sock patterns, non-color work that I want to make for my year of socks but there's so many that it would just be obnoxious showing you guys. When I have them on my needles in my next video, I'll definitely show you guys. I'll just share one more, what I want to cast on. When I finish my Clematis sweater, I want to cast on the Gal sweater. Pretty sure that's what it's called. I remembered it because of the famous actor Gal Gadot. Yeah, so I'm pretty sure it's the Gal sweater. It's so gorgeous. I have a yarn that I want to use in mind. It's made out of mohair. I love the scrunch detail and I've never knit lace before. I think that would be a perfect first pattern for me. And it's just so elegant. The mohair would probably keep you warm, but the lace would also keep you cool. So maybe a very good summer top. 
I haven't seen that many projects of it, but the ones that I did are so gorgeous and they're just tempting me even more. If you guys have made it, I would love to see it on Instagram. So yeah, I'm really hoping I can post more videos. Go follow my Instagram. It only has like seven followers <laughs> and they're all my family. But I'm really trying to grow it into a hobby knitting account. I don't even care how many views I get. I just want some people to enjoy my knitting podcasts and videos. So yeah, please subscribe if you guys enjoyed this video. I'm still learning this, so my videos hopefully will get better. Yeah, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye! Thank you.